Hey guys, Trick Apple John coming at you with another near reincarnation video, guys. So today's video is going to be kind of short and sweet. Uh, we did have the Abyss Tower drop. Uh, I would, I know you guys, a lot of you guys saw my video talking about, you know, like the announcement of it, what I thought was going to happen, what was I expecting, and I got to tell you guys, what we got, a hundred percent was not what I expected. Um, now. I did know and I did think it was going to end up getting hard. I thought it would be like level 20, level 19. That would be like the, the deal breaker for me. As you can see here on the uh, the right of my stream, uh, or sorry, a screen up here. Quest 17 has been my uh, my weakest, weakest link. Now, I was not prepared. End of the day, like... If I were to sum up the basics of the Abyss Tower, I thought I was getting prepared for subjugation. I thought I was getting you guys prepared for subjugation. And it turns out, I I myself was not prepared. I, 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 you know, I just throw my hands up in, in agony on it. Because honestly, I didn't have a heal. I don't have a healer ready to go. I have no staff weapons upgraded. I, I, I don't have the correct preparations to run a healer as well. And honestly, that's kind of what it's looking like I need to do. I need to run a healer. I tried the DPS route. Okay. I had three other people in my stream that were in stream as soon as this content launched. I'm recording this right after my stream. So we already played the content for an hour and a half and got stuck on 17. In that hour and a half, I had one guy in stream complete all the content up to 20. And he was only able to do that because he ran A2. A maxed A2 with a lot of DPS and two healers. That's the only way he was able to do it. Now, is that the only way to do it? I don't think so. I really don't. I think if you get one good healer, and when I say one good healer, guys, what I mean is, uh, so I, unfortunately, I neglected things, you know? I, I, I'll i be the first one to, sh to you know, to tell on myself and say, hey, you know, this was a dumb, dumb idea, John. If you go over here, uh, I only have the um, the three star F66 here. That's it. Notice she's uh, 43 out of 80. Notice I can't take her her skill up here. I can't go any higher than level four. That's it. I'm not prepared. I don't have the resources, and this is where I think I made the biggest mistake for trying to push this 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 uh, content. And now I have to spend the next 10 days overcoming this obstacle so that way I can finish this content because I'll be damned if I'm not going to finish it. You know what I mean? Uh, but yeah, I think that's going to be my biggest hurdle. I had a fairly, really strong squad for, for wind. And uh, honestly, I was doing really, really, really good up until like level 16. And the uh, the last boss has like an attack up. I think it's attack up or, or it's a defense up. One of the two. But until my... Uh, celebrity gale hit him to do the defensive break i was just i was shit out of luck it wasn't gonna happen uh i needed to have that defense break so that way i can come in and smack that him because until i had that defense break i was only doing like a thousand uh, fifteen hundred damage max um i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys some clips of of the stream and kind of show you that we can get an idea of actual gameplay and struggles we had conversations we had during the stream it was a lot of fun. <clears throat> we all we had a good time. We were really excited for this content, so uh, that's why I wanted to show you the actual Twitch stream. But uh, I will be back at the end of the end of the vod here uh, and kind of go over a few more details. So until then, guys, let's get into the rest of the video. So, all right, ten o'clock. We got the content drop. Let's see what we got. Arena season two. Hello and thank you for playing Near. This is a message from the management team. Arena Season 2 will be available starting September 27th. Okay. You can fight over the players in the arena. The amount of arena points that you have is determined by your wins and losses. Yes, we already know that. Uh, okay, so they're just announcing Season 2, which is fine. Next. Abyss Tower release. Oh, ooh, new packs. Is that what that happened? So we got Abyss Tower release on packs on sale now. Hello and thank you for playing near the limited time premium packs are now available for purchase as of the 23rd These are gonna go to the 3rd of October. Okay. I like that That's just like the rest of the event. So you're gonna have the entire time to get that event stuff done as well. So that works 
Uh, pay gems, 490. You know what? Instead of trying to read these, let, guys, let's just, uh, we'll, let's go and close that. Let's go to the shop, and we'll just go look at them. It'd be a lot easier to, like, diagnose. Okay, so here we go. So we got a $175 pack. What's in the 75? Uh, this has 9,000 gems. Okay, I like that. These are paid gems, plus a, plus a gold and a four-star premium ticket, so... Extra large character enhancement. Don't miss out on those. Advanced handbook. So it's a guaranteed four star character rate up. A black pearl. So that gives you a guaranteed rate up for a weapon. 100, 100k gold. And a guaranteed four star. This is actually low key the best one that they've had so far. 9k gems. For a guaranteed character's handbook. Because like, you get handbooks. You can use these on anything. So EX characters, whatever. Black Pearl. I think that's probably better than the... Uh, yeah, it's much better than this one. I like I like that. That's that's really, really good. Okay. Uh, and there's only a limit of one. Shit. Only a limit of one. That's not bad. Like Things won't get too out of hand. So here's a limit of three for 25 bucks. Uh, 3,000 gems. Insignia qualities are, are valuable. Emeralds. I mean, it gives you 50 emeralds. That's not bad. These are... I, I think, honestly, guys, out of all of these, these aren't that bad. Like, they're not nearly as bad as I thought they were going to be. Okay. So, let's jump back in here. What else do we got? So, event... Quest of Fist Tower Flooded Dungeon. All right. Let's go. Yep. So we already knew it was going to be high difficulty, advanced in the tower, high difficulty quests. Okay, yes, yes, yes. Water enemies appear, use wind weapons. I know I already did that. Get up to 2,800 gems. That's it? Uh, I thought you got so much more gems. That's depressing. Complete quest missions to earn fabulous rewards. Okay, so summon tickets, insignias, prisms, and handbooks. Okay. Yep, I already maxed that one out. Yep. Yep. Okay. So we're not going to get nearly as many gems as we thought we were going to get, guys. Like, at all. So let's go see how difficult this is. Uh, yes. Okay. Let's get started. Let's, let's go. Quest one. Water loadout. Let's go to wind. 60k is going to be the starting requirement. Let's dive in. Let's get her. All right. Let's see what we can do. So, new content just dropped, and I literally just got caught with my pants down, not ready whatsoever for this new content, because I, I wasn't expecting to have to swap out characters like this. I thought I was golden with that new loadout, um, and it turns out I was not golden with just a new loadout, uh, FYI, so I hope all the rest of you learn from my mistakes. Alright, come on. We can finish this content. It's easy. If you will it, it into existence that it's easy, then it's got to be easy. Right, chat? Like, just will it and you're good to go. 100%. Like, 100%. I'm down with that that theory. All right. I've, ex I've decided to forego the 20 gems for the uh, character completion because you know what? I can't be bothered to, uh, to be figuring out all these characters. I, I can't believe I got so freaking, oh, so hoodwinked. All right, what, what, what do we got going on here? How high does this force re requirement go? A hundred and twenty force requirement? You got to be effing kidding me. Okay. Well, this may get real, guys. This may get real, real quick. All right, let's see how far. We so we just reached level seventeen, and we had a slight hiccup, and we lost. Uh, I think we're gonna RNG it. Force matchup wise, we're about even with a advantage. So let's see if we can't complete it. All right, so we're on wave two of level 17 here, and we had to bring in a healer. 
Uh, I wasn't expecting to actually have to do this. I, I didn't think we would actually need a healer. And honestly, I'm about to take this off auto. Because I just want them to auto attack and heal. And we didn't get any other heals. So that leaves me a little concerned that this final wave... We're gonna get uh, we're gonna get racked here. I don't I don't think this is gonna end well yet. We lost our Gale, which is gonna be our defensive down break when he has an attack up. Yeah, this is gonna get rough, guys. All right, guys. So as you can see from all of my uh, banter on stream, there it was uh, it was a little touch and go. It's still touch and go even while uh, recording and editing this video, guys. I was still trying to play it, and uh, you will see here. I did make it past level 17 here, so I'm technically on level 18 right now. I'm just going to claim all these extra um, rewards here and see maybe these will help me. And uh, honestly, guys, this is a little rough. I, I, I'm not going to lie. I DPS my way through 17. 18, I almost cheesed with the DPS. I don't think... I don't think even if I'm manual, I don't think I can do level 19. I don't think it's going to happen. Uh, maybe. Maybe if I put in a lot more effort than what I have been, I might be able to do it. But honestly, guys, I'm kind of leaning towards, I think we're honestly going to have to reuse some healers. And I wasn't prepared for that. I don't know if you guys are. Um, I hope you guys are. Um, I hope you guys can really push this content. <clears throat> I hope you guys get it done. We only get 10 days. So don't forget that 10-3 th is going to be the final days. Now, I did cover the shop packs that just got added. If you are a spender, it may or may not be worth it for you to go ahead and buy them. Uh, but definitely stay within your means. Don't go don't go wailing out if you if you don't have it. So, but yeah, guys, I think that's gonna conclude it for the video to me or for me today, guys. I enjoyed so far this this tower. It's been a lot of fun. I'm excited. This new content is like it's got me salivating for the next new content. Uh, it's got me very hype and excited for it. I'm gonna have to go back through. Like as you can see here, I didn't three star everything. So I'm gonna have to go back through so I can get those free gems. But uh, but yeah, guys, I'm excited about it. I hope you guys have been enjoying it. Let me know down in the comments below. Did you push this content at the beginning? Uh, where are you at on it? Are you are you able to complete it? Do you think you'll be able to complete it? Let me know down in the comments below. I'd love to hear it. And yeah, until next time, guys. Peace.